page 355, section 5.5. Let's look at number 4. Number 4, we have x plus 7 times parenthesis of x plus 3 equal to 0. For this section, okay, we want to solve the equation. So here, make sure one side of the equation, one side, doesn't matter which side, okay, one side of the equation must equal to 0. So here, we're going to set the number in each parenthesis equal to 0, then solve for x. So here, we're going to solve for x, so minus 7, minus 7, x equal to negative 7, that's one of answer. So here, my x equal to negative 3. Now let's look at number 6. We have parenthesis of 3q minus 4 times parenthesis of 2q plus 5 equal to 0. Again, now let's set the number in each parenthesis equal to 0. So 2q plus 5 is equal to 0. Now we're going to solve for q. So let's get rid of the negative 4. So plus 4 plus 4. So 3q is equal to 4 divided by 3, so q is equal to 4 over 3. For the second one over here, so let's get rid of the 5, so 2q is equal to negative 5, so my q is equal to negative 5 over 2. Now let's look at number 10. Number 10, we have x squared minus 18x plus 80 is equal to 0. So here, we're going to factor the trinomial, okay? We're going to use the x factor. So this will be minus and minus. So that's our big x. I'm going to take my first number, multiply my last number, equal to 80. Then after that, I'm going to bring my middle number, negative 18, down here. Just remind me, I'm going to get a negative 18. Now, let's take 80 on the side. Let's find out which two number multiply give me 80. So 180, 240, 3 is no good. 4 times 20, then 5 times 16, then 6 no good, 7 no good, then 8 and 10. After you find out all the factors, you look inside the parenthesis here. Both sides are minus and minus, I tell you what, you're going to add because same sign, you're going to add different sign, you're going to subtract, okay? Same sign in the parenthesis, you're going to add different sign in the parenthesis, you're going to subtract. So here we're going to add, so which two pair of number adding together give you the middle number? So going to use what? A and 10. So minus A, minus 10, gave me what? Negative 18. So I'm going to put minus A here, minus 10 here. My variable is what? X. So I'm going to put X and X. Then after that, you're going to set the number in each parenthesis equal to 0. Then you're going to solve for X. So here we're going to plus A, plus A. So X is equal to 8. Here will be X is equal to 10. Now let's look at the next question. Okay, let's look at number 12. Number 12, we have 2x squared equal to 3 minus x. For this, again, one side of the equation must equal to 0. Also, you want to keep the highest exponents as a positive number. Okay, highest exponents as a positive number. So here, we're going to move everything to the left-hand side. Okay, and make sure you put everything in order. So here we have 2x squared plus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Then after that, we're going to factor the trinomial, we're going to do the x factor. So this will be plus and minus. Now we're going to draw a big x. I'm going to take my first number, multiply my last number equal to 6. Then after that, I'm going to put the middle number. If you don't see, it will be a plus 1. Now, Let's put 6 on the side. Let's find out which two numbers multiply give me 6. So it'll be 1, 6, 2, 3. After you find out all the factors, you look inside the parenthesis. 1 is plus, 1 is minus, different sign. That's how you must subtract, okay? Which two numbers subtract give you the middle number? We're looking for positive 1. So we're going to use 2 and 3. So 2, 3. Now you have to decide which one be plus, which one be minus. So plus 3 minus 2 will give me what? A plus 1. But this time, because well, we have leading number, okay, we have see, we have the leading number. So we need to divide each factor divided by 2. Each number need to divide by 2. So this become negative 1. Then this we cannot reduce or so stay. After that matching, negative 1, negative 1 go over here. 
okay, plus 3. So we go behind the plus. Denominator will be the first number inside the parentheses. Now variables x, so put x and x. After that, we're going to set the number in each parentheses equal to 0. So here, minus 3, minus 3. 2x is equal to negative 3 divided by 2. So x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Now here my x is equal to 1. Okay. Now let's look at number 18. Number 18, we have 3x squared minus 27x is equal to 0. Again, for this book, okay, if you can factor out the common factor, you need to factor out the common factor first. 3 can go into 27. So 3 is the common factor. So here, we're going to factor out the 3. So 3 goes out. Also, you see both number this one, this is x. So when you factor out the x, I always take out the smallest one. So if I take 1 away, I have 1 left. So x goes out. Then after that, whatever you cannot take out, you're going to leave that inside the parentheses. So first number, I have x. Minus the second number have 9. The next, you're going to set each number equal to 0. So 3x equal to 0. x minus 9 is equal to 0. Then you're going to solve for x. So divided by 3, divided by 3, x is equal to 0. So here plus 9, plus 9, then x is equal to 9. Okay. Now, let's look at number 20. Number 20 we have 9z squared minus 81 is equal to 0. Again, if there's common factor, you need to file the common factor first. 9 can go to 81, 9 times 9. So here my common factor is a 9. So I'm going to factor out the 9. So 9 goes out. Then inside, whatever you cannot take out, I'm going to leave that inside the parentheses. So I have z squared minus 9. Keep the 9 outside. Keep the z squared. Keep the minus. We're going to change to 9 to a, to a 3 squared equal to 0. Then keep the 9 outside. Now, you see, inside the parentheses now, now we have what? Something squared, something squared, and minus. So we're going to use the formula for difference of 2 squared. So to all 2 parentheses, 1 be plus, 1 is minus. Put z in each one. Then put 3 in each one. After that, set each one equal to 0. So 9 is equal to 0. z plus 3 is equal to 0 z minus 3 is equal to 0. So let's go to the first one over here. Over here, you see, we have 9 equal to 0, but we are solving what? We are solving for z. There's no z. So this one is meaningless. Ignore that one. Okay? Then after that, let's solve the rest of two equations. So minus 3, minus 3. So z is equal to negative 3. Then over here, z is equal to positive 3. Now let's look at number 28. Number 28, we have x plus 8, x minus 2 is equal to negative 21. Okay, now remember that one side of the equation must equal to 0, so it doesn't matter which, which side, okay? Now on the right hand side, you see over here, we have 21, so we don't, you cannot say equal to 21, okay? One side of the equation must equal to 0. So here, on the left hand side, we're going to use the FOIL method to FOIL out everything, okay? To FOIL out everything. So we have x squared minus 2x plus ax minus 16 is equal to negative 21. After that, let's combine the like term. So it'll be the two term right in the middle. So it'll be plus 6x minus 16 is equal to negative 21. After that, let's get rid of the negative 21. So plus 21 plus 21. So x squared plus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. Then after that, we're going to factor out the trinomial. So we're going to do the x factor again. This one's very easy because it's 5. So we only have one choice. Okay, we only have one choice, 1 and 5. Because 1 times 5, 1 times 5 give me a 5. Then 1 plus 5 give me a 6. Okay, then we'll put x and x. Then after that, we're going to set the number in each parenthesis equal to 0. So here my x equal to negative 1. My x equal to negative 5. That's my answer. Now, Let's look at number 32. Number 32, we have 3x squared plus 9x plus 30 is equal to 2x squared minus 
20, uh, minus 2x, 2x squared minus 2x. So again, one self, the equation must equal to zero, but make sure that the highest exponents must what, be a positive number. So therefore, we want to get rid of the 2x squared on the right. Okay, so let's get rid of 2x squared on the right. We're going to move everything to the left. Then after that, let's get rid of the two, negative 2x, so it'll be a plus 2x plus 2x. Then after that, let's draw, let's see. Over here, we have x squared plus 11x plus 30 is equal to 0. Then again, we're going to do the factor in the trinomial. So this will be a plus and plus. Going to do the x factor. Going to take my first number, multiply my last number equal to 30. Now let's looking for my middle number, plus 11. So I'm going to put a plus 11 down here. Now let's break down 30. 30 will be 1, 30, 2, 15, 3, 10, 4 is no good. Next will be 5 and 6. After you find out all the factors, you look inside the parentheses, both are plus. That's how you add. Which two number, which pair of two number adding together give you the middle number, give you the plus 11. So we're going to start plus 5, plus 6, give me what a plus 11. So put 5 here, 6 here. My variable is x, so I'm going to put x and x. After that, we're going to set the number in each parenthesis equal to 0, then solve for x. So here minus 5, minus 5. So my x is equal to negative 5, and here my x is equal to negative 6.